Today, we're gonna show you how to take all of this and turn it into this. Cardboard never looks so cool. Welcome to part one of our AIY Projects voice kit how-to. In this video, we're going to show you how to combine everything in your kit with the Raspberry Pi to create this little cardboard device. Now, if you're in a big rush or you know what you want, you can jump straight into the action by clicking one of the bookmarks listed in the description. Otherwise, let's all just sit here awkwardly for a few seconds. Hmm. Your patience has been noted. First things first, let's unpack our stuff. When you open up the box, you're gonna find an instruction sheet. We already set that aside. And here is some cardboard. We're gonna need this for later. Underneath that cardboard, you're gonna find all of your other components. And let's see those outside of the box. Beautiful. Let's run down a checklist real quick of everything you should find inside your kit. You will find a voice hat accessory board, a voice hat microphone board, two plastic standoffs, a three inch speaker, an arcade style button with plastic nut, a four wire button cable, a five wire cable, an external cardboard box, and an internal cardboard frame. And of course you're gonna need your Raspberry Pi 3 board. If you've never used or seen a Raspberry Pi, there's a few important ports that I wanna bring up that you're gonna to need to know for the future. The first is our micro USB port, and that's where our wall adapter is gonna be plugged into to give it juice. You also wanna take note of your HDMI port, that's where you're gonna plug your external monitor into later, and your USB port for a keyboard and mouse. And lastly, your SD card slot. When we burn our image to the micro SD card, it's gonna go in there. So in addition to the Raspberry Pi 3 other materials you're going to need, you're gonna need a micro SD card, of course, and we have an eight gigabyte SanDisk here. You're gonna need a Phillips 00 screwdriver, and you're also gonna need the power adapter for the Pi once we get everything built. And in addition, you're gonna want a little bit of scotch tape, and you may need a small pair of needle nose pliers. So before we begin, I wanted to address the older version of the AIY voice kit, which released with issue 57 of Magpie Magazine earlier this year. And the reason I wanted to address this is because we're mixing components from that version with the new version, but I wanted to make it very clear that everything you see in this video is compatible with the new version that came out fall 2017. This is not compatible with the older version that came with Magpie Magazine. With that said, I wanted to discuss the differences. The only mechanical difference is the button and lamp assembly. In the older version, you had to go through a bunch of extra steps to put it all together. The new version simplifies it, and now everything is built into the button already. Beyond that, every difference you see is going to be cosmetic. The voice hat board and microphone boards now have matte finishes. They have some logos on them that weren't there before, but they function the same way. The metal connectors on the four wire cable are different, and that is to accommodate the difference in the new button. And finally, the cardboard quality in the new version has improved, but the cardboard folds and functions the same exact way between the two versions. Again, I just wanna make it clear, everything you see, despite the mixture of components, is compatible with the new version of the kit released fall 2017 and not the version that came with issue 57 of Magpie Magazine. If you're looking for a tutorial on that version, there are plenty already out there, but we're going to link one in the description below if you've been unable to find one uh, thus far. And with all of that said, let's get you back to your regularly scheduled programming. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna begin with these two plastic standoffs and these are gonna be inserted into these yellow holes here on the Raspberry Pi board. Uh, if you're wondering which two holes, it's gonna be the ones that are on the side of the board along with the HDMI port. So you're gonna grab your first one and these standoffs do not twist in. Uh, they are simply popped into place. So just give them a nice little push until they lock. And that is that. Now we're gonna put on our hat, our voice hat accessory board that is, and that is gonna be placed on top of the Raspberry Pi like so. But before we install it, I wanna point out the 40 pin GPIO header here on the Raspberry Pi. And you wanna ensure that these pins are going to line up with the connector located on the underside of the voice hat board. So when you're ready to install, you're going to line those up as you can see here, and just double check that all those pins are lined up correctly. And then you wanna flip the board around and make sure that the two plastic standoffs we just installed are also lined up with the holes on the voice hat board. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and press gently down until everything uh, fits into place and then flip it around and make sure that those standoffs popped in. And if they haven't, go ahead and give that side a little push until they do pop into place. Go ahead and grab your speaker with the red and black wire and we're going to take a look at our voice hat board. There should be an area that is labeled speakers and you're going to see there's a blue terminal sticking out that has two screws and two sockets. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your wires and you're gonna place the ends into those two sockets, but take note of the color, that's very important. The red wire is gonna be placed on the positive side and the black wire on the negative side. And you can see they're clearly labeled on the board here. So once you have those in place, you're gonna secure them with the Phillips 00 screwdriver, gently tighten those screws, and then you're gonna give it a nice gentle pull and make sure that those wires are firmly in place. Next, we're gonna look at the four wire button cable. That is the one with the white male connector on one end and four separate metal contacts on the other end. Taking a look at the voice hat board, you're gonna see that there's a four pin white socket labeled button that the connector is going to plug into. Taking a look at the connector, you're gonna see that there are these ridges, and that means it's only gonna go in one way. You shouldn't have to force it, it should plug in nice and easy. And to know you've plugged it in the right direction, just double check, the blue wire should be facing the top of the board and the black wire the bottom. As for the other end with the metal contacts, we're gonna come back to that later in the build. Go ahead and grab your voice hat microphone board and your five wire cable. The ends of the cable are identical, doesn't matter which end you grab, but we're gonna plug one into the microphone board. You can see here that the ridges, just as before, should line up, so it should snap into place nice and easy. You shouldn't have to force anything. Returning to our voice hat board, you're gonna see that next to the button socket is the mic socket, but what if we don't, we don't have anything to plug into? Oh my, you rapscallion. We're gonna take the other end of that five wire cable and we're gonna plug it into the socket, and we now have the microphone fully attached to the device. Set the device aside, and now it's time to, you guessed it, fold some cardboard. Beginning with the outside box, we're gonna fold it open, just like this. And along the bottom sections here, you're gonna see that they are labeled fold one, two, three, and four. This is gonna be the bottom of our box. So beginning with fold one, you're gonna fold that in, move it around to fold two, do the same. Flipping it over to fold three, you guessed it, do the same, and finally fold four, and you'll see this bit is extended out, and that is actually gonna fold into the bottom of the box, like so, holding everything into place. And now we have a near completed box, so everyone give yourselves a round of applause. Now that you've given yourself that round of applause, let's move on to the insert. Let's begin by folding the sections labeled one and two. These are gonna be the sides of the insert. And then we're gonna turn our attentions to what's gonna be the bottom of the insert, which is this area labeled Raspberry Pi goes here. And we're just gonna give that a fold up. And now we're gonna move on to the rest of the insert, which is a little tricky. Beginning with this little panel, we're gonna push him out and you're gonna pull and fold him down as far as you can, this, 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 this little guy. So once he's out of the way, then you're gonna fold the rest of the flap. And basically you're just gonna follow along, making these folds along all of the creases you see. It's a little hard to explain, but if you can visually follow along with what I'm doing, you will have something that looks like this. And you can see the little panel is being held back, being pinned by the rest of the flap, and this is where the speaker is gonna go. So once you have it completed, you're gonna be able to bring your speaker in and he's just gonna slide right into that slot. Right here, you can see he's just sliding right in. It should rest comfortably and you wanna make sure the wires are coming from the top. Obviously, uh, it, that's, it's not gonna really fit otherwise. And here's another angle where you can see that the bottom of the speaker lines up with the cardboard. Once you have the speaker in place, you're gonna set your Raspberry Pi on the bottom of the insert. You're gonna fold the sides of the insert labeled one and two in and over the Raspberry Pi, and the second in particular is gonna rest between the voice hat board and the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi. And once you have everything set, it should look something like this. And you are now ready to insert all of this into your box. You wanna fold anything that's gonna be in the way, out of the way. And you wanna ensure that the speaker is going to line up with the side of the box that has seven holes. And as you're putting this all in, uh, watch that you don't snag any cables, you're not tearing anything. Never give up, never surrender. And once you have everything in, nice and flush along the top, you wanna to double check a few things. The first being your wiring. Make sure that all your wires are still connected. Specifically, the speaker wires. If you didn't tighten those screws enough earlier, they may have fallen out as you were inserting everything into the box. You also wanna check the sides, check that the speaker is centered, check that you have access to all of your ports. So the USBs, your HDMI, the power connector, and also the micro SD slot on the underside of the Raspberry Pi. Now, button, button, who's got the button? I, oh, I, I have the button, it's right, it's right here. Here are the parts you need for this step, but real quick, I wanna point out that this is the old version of the box, so the spacer first does not apply. There is no spacer in this new kit. You do get your button though, and your plastic nut, which is all you will need. So go ahead and grab your button, and you're gonna insert it from the outside in. It should just slide into place, and here is another angle of that. As you can see, drop right in. Then you're gonna grab your plastic nut, and you are gonna screw that on finger tight, nice and firm. You don't wanna squeeze the life out of it though. Uh, why? Because uh, the box is your friend, and you wouldn't squeeze the life out of your friends, would you? No didn't think so. 
Now we're going to return to the color wires with the metal connectors on the end. And as you look inside the button, you're going to see that there's a logo etched into the gray plastic. And that logo is going to help us determine which colored wire connects to which pin. Here's what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. So take note of the orientation of that logo and the wires around it. Beginning with the white and black wires, those are going to plug into the gray plastic, and that's what's going to control the button mechanism itself. The blue and the red wires are going to plug into the colored plastic, and that's what's going to control the LED light inside the button. And here, once again, is the finished product. You want to make sure that the picture matches exactly what you have in front of you. Next, we're going to secure the microphone board, and the goal here is to line up the two microphones with the small cardboard holes pictured here. And if you're wondering where the microphones are, they can be found on the back of the microphone board. And you'll know that you have it in the right position when you can turn it around and see the microphones through the cardboard holes just like this. And once you have it where you want it, you're going to go and secure it down with two pieces of scotch tape. You can also use double-sided tape or, if you like, a dab of hot glue. And once you secure it, you just want to double check again that those microphones line up with the holes. All right, we are done. I am very, no, we're not done. We're almost done, but here, here this is the end. We're gonna fold these side panels in. When you go to close the lid, you wanna watch the wires. You're gonna tuck those in, make sure they're not sticking out. And once you have the lid down, you're gonna take the little flap here and secure the lid in place. And now, now we are done. We have finished, we have built our cardboard device. And this is the end of part one. In part two, we are going to burn our image onto our micro SD card. We're gonna boot our device up for the first time and we're gonna get the Google Assistant SDK up and running. So by the end of the video, you'll be able to ask the device a question and and get an answer back and you know that's that's pretty cool so uh if you have any tips or tricks uh leave them below in the comments and um join us next time won't you thank you for watching and goodbye